There's one more thing I'm going to do. I was debating on how to make a tailpiece for the can banjo that I'm going to make a guitar out of. What I decided to do is take this old less toil can and uh, cut the handle off the top of it and brad that onto the bottom of that can and then run my strings right around this and use that for a tailpiece. Mm, yeah, I'll do that. And I got the grinder out right now, so I can do it right now. I'm going to call this finished now, and I say finished kind of relatively because I actually don't think it's finished, but it needs someone that plays the guitar to tune it up right before it will be finished. And here's part of what I mean by that. I saved the old um, bridge out of the guitar and stuck it back on here. And then I was wedging it up and down to get my string height right, and the first thing I did was I took a bunch of these old credit cards and I was slipping them up under there and I got it where the string height was pretty darn close and I thought well there's a big wad of them things under there I could put some metal washers in there so I put metal washers under both ends of these things and that worked pretty good but it looked funky and I thought well I didn't like that so I went out in the garage and I grabbed this piece of ebony there's a piece of ebony wood right here and I shoved it under there and that worked pretty right and it sounded pretty right but I think it's now a little too high but I don't know for sure because I don't know where 63 Impala likes his string. Some people like them closer and some people like them higher. The neck is uh, straight enough so that you can adjust this up and down and get it where you want it to be. And you know he could do it a variety of ways. He could take and just run this over a belt sander and sand this piece under here down and leave that on top of it. Or he might decide to engineer something altogether different. Uh, one thing I thought about doing was making like a, a maple, a maple banjo bridge that would go across here because it wouldn't cover up as much of the writing you know you got here for high speed and fine mechanisms and you got some other writing under here that gets covered up because of that big bridge and a banjo just has a little narrow bridge so I figured I'd leave that up to him to play with but other than that she's good and she's a player I can't play it for two reasons one is I've just tuned it and I'm pretty sure it's right out of tune and, and the other reason is that uh, I don't play a guitar, and uh, you know, I went online and looked up relative tuning in order to try to figure out how to tune this thing, and I'm sure it's wrong. Uh, <laughs> Basically, it's up to 63 Impala now. I'm going to poke it in the mail, send it to him. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, 63 Impala. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And, you know, look at it this way. If it don't work out for you as a player, you can always hang it on the wall. Uh, with that said, y'all have a nice day. Merry Christmas.